Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to a new video today on In The Stars. Today I'm going to be talking about Scorpio Deacons. <laughs> so let's get into the video. Okay, first Scorpio Deacons, the first Scorpio Deacon, shall I say, is as I was talking about deacons before, deacons are the first 10 days of the sign and or shall I say every 10 days or so you have a, close to about 30 days within each sign. So there will be about three tens, shall I speak, or these are called 10 degree periods. So the first 10 degree of Scorpio, which is the first Scorpio, um, their ruling planet is Pluto and also their sub-ruling planet is Pluto as well because they're in the first 10 degree period shall I say before and as I also uh, mentioned in my first Deacon video is that uh, these the the influence of these the influence of their sub-ruling planet it just adds on to their traits or characteristics. It, do, it doesn't take anything away. So with them being a double Plutonian Scorpio, it is pretty simple that they all of their um, all of their Plutonian traits are like times by two. Right. Or they or it's just added on. They have they're going to be they're probably going to be more secretive than than other than other uh you know what I'm trying to say than other <laughs> than other Scorpio signs they're going to be more more reserved they're going to be uh more mysterious they're going to they're going to be more sure of themselves shall I say or more intuitive when it comes to those things because of that you know all of those well not not necessarily more intuitive because the intuitive comes from the water sign but the mysteriousness that's what they're going to be more in tune with the, the occult all of those you have to think of all of the influences of pluto so all of those influences of pluto it, it's just going to it's like I said, it's like having a double Pluto. I mean, because it, it really uh, literally is a double Pluto. So it's just going to be more into the cult, more into mysteriousness, as I, as I said already, more into dark, the dark things, things of dark nature, whether it's wearing dark clothes. They might tend, these, uh, these double Plutonians might tend to wear uh, more dark clothes than other Scorpios because of that natural attraction that they have to to things of, of dark nature um, they are going to be more transformative more uh, more more um, changing as far as as far as reinventing their selves or or trying to figure out a way to to better themselves in a way and as I always say and I always keep saying as I say uh, you have to also think of the duality of these things so these people can also be more or or less or this can if it's if it's in a debilitated state or if it's or if it's in a negative if it's in a negative if it's aspecting negatively I'm sorry then they can then this can lead to them being um, too too mysterious or too secretive, too boxed in, too closed in, not not talking at all, or or going down to the occultic side in a negative way, and maybe into black magic or into you know or into devil worshiping or something or something of those natures. Uh, also. Uh, just just being overly dark or or changing for the worse instead of changing for the better if that makes sense so the second uh period of scorpio or the second 10 degree period of scorpio is a uh, sub-ruling planet is neptune 
Their ruling planet still is Pluto, but their sub-ruling planet is Neptune. As I said, your ruling planet doesn't change, but you do have a different sub-ruling planet. So, because their sub-ruling planet is Neptune, Neptune is the planet of fantasy, illusion, and spirituality. So, these so these Scorpios will be more could or will be more on the spiritual side. They will focus more on spiritualism or they will be more um, inclined to uh, being spiritualistic people. As I said, it, that's if it's not in a negative aspect. But if it is, if it is aspecting negatively, then they can, um, they, these people can be pretty much, they can be atheists or they can, um, or they might, or they might spiritually, uh, you know, they might talk about people's spiritualism in a negative in a negative way, like frown upon people's spiritualism. Um, also, because uh, as I said, Neptune is the planet of fantasy. These people are these scorpions are more likely to be more um, have have a have a great imagination. You know, um, can think. You know, probably excel at, at being writers because they have this great imagination about them because they have this added dose of imagination onto their other traits already. So they will be, uh, as I said, they, they can fantasize about, about things that they feel emotional about. Um, they can, they can, they can have fantasies about, uh, what some other Scorpio traits they can fantasize about, about the mysterious or the dark arts they might they might excel at being a writer for for like horror films or like or like just horror books horror novels or just or just be more um be more uh drawn into those things like not even if they're writing it they might uh these might be the type of people or will be the type of people who, who like to read uh, spooky novels, scary novels, horror novels, whatever you want to call it, or scary books or, or, um, or watch scary movies all the time because of that, because of that fantasy, it blended in with that, with that darkness, you know, uh, so and also illusion these people can also because of the fantasy and the illusion they can also get lost in their own thoughts or or um or make up things that aren't necessarily true you know not necessarily to say that they're uh lying even though that this aspect could or this position could make them could cause them to be liars but as I say, uh, what do you call it? Like overtelling something, or what's that? What's the word for that? I, I forget. I, it's it's not c clicking in my mind right now. But they can, they have, they have a likelihood of of fabricating the truth, should I say? Because and not necessarily. I mean, they might not necessarily be aware of it, and that's why I'm saying because it's a, it's about illusion, it's about fantasy. These people can also these also people can also because of that fantasy, they can also uh, fantasize about about passionate things. And so they might have a a, a a lustful, passionate fantasies that 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 they like about themselves, or that they like, or that they uh, naturally. Um, are attracted to these these people also pop these people also have the tendency to uh suffer for, from identity crises or can suffer from identity crisis because that's what I was trying to say because of that illusion that they carry or because of that fantasy that they carry they can they can make up things in their head that might not necessarily be true if you will and it also all comes with illusions also can come delusions or that's what I that's pretty much what I meant like delusions of grandeur or just uh or just even overly fantasizing about something as I said something that can be true no matter what it is like they they can believe you know if they let their emotions 
take over, then then their fantasy and their those illusions can run wild on them, so to speak. So the third degree period, or the third, yeah, the third uh, ten degree period of Scorpio is sub ruler is uh, the moon. Now, if you remember, the moon represents your emotions and unconscious thoughts, uh, things of that nature. Excuse me, your, your instincts or, or things like that, your unconscious instincts, things like that. So, how that plays on Scorpios, how that plays on the uh, third, 10 degree Scorpio deacons are that they can be uh, more emotional than the other scorpion um than their other scorpion counterparts because of that because of that moon influence they're also uh they also can be more um they also can be you know on the flip side to that they can also be more in tune with those unconscious thoughts than other than other than their other scorpion counterparts like they can they might be able to grasp more of their unconscious thinking rather than it be hidden from themselves. Not to say that they will express those thoughts, but this can allow, this can also allow them to be more secretive because they're more because they have feel like they're more conscious of the unconsciousness within them or their unconscious instincts. This might make them pay more closely attention to themselves because because of that influence. Um, also with them being more intuitive, this can make, also with them being more intuitive because of uh, their emotions, the, their emotions are more arise. This can also lead to them being more moody as well because as uh, Scorpios, as Scorpios are already known to be uh, emotional because of the, their water aspect but it, when the moon comes into play with that uh it brings in more emotions so you see this can allow to them being more emotional so if they're not if they're not uh if they don't fully grasp that uh that mysterious or non-talkative nature that they usually have they they can these scorpions can tend to let their emotions run wild if they don't if they're not a hold of that intuitiveness or hold or get a hold of of that uh of that you know of that uh mysteriousness about them that makes them uh not express everything these, these scorpions can have the ability to express more of their emotions more frequently than uh, than the other scorpions if that makes sense they also can hold on to they also might feel deeply about things in general so this can lead to them being more sensitive as well than other scorpions because of those feel because of the increased emotions they can be more sensitive to towards things more sensitive to to energies and then it comes to intuition or more serious or more uh, sensitive to emotions when it comes to emotions whether good or bad not to say that um, not to say that it's necessarily always a bad thing to be more um, to be more emotional but it, it can also be a good thing or to be more intuitive and the reason why you know, the reason why this heightens their intuitiveness because if you're uh, if you're not, if you're more um, if if it's raising your unconscious or if it's raising your unconscious feelings or unconscious thoughts and those things of that nature and you're already intuitive, this is going to heighten those. You see what I'm saying? Or like I said, if it's if it's aspecting negatively, this can this can deplete those feelings or this can uh, make make a scorpion with this third 10 degree deacon uh be not so uh conscious of their of their feelings or their emotions or or not even um not being aware of how to express those emotions should i say uh without even without being sure of themselves like they might be over like i said before overly confident or even arrogant Day for today's video this was uh 
This was a video, a quick video on Scorpio Deacons. I hope you guys liked the video. As always, if you did, press the like button. Press the subscribe button if you want to stay in tune for future videos. Click the description box if you want to look at my social medias to follow me there. Um, write in the comment, comment box down below to let me know how you all feel about this video or anything else. And uh, I hope you guys like the video again. And thank you for your time again. And until next time, peace and love. Thank you.